Revenge time, Newcastle against Manchester United. This one is revenge time. Uh -huh. uh, just to say, uh, the first leg, it ended in a 0-0. Zero -zero. Uh -huh. Now, these two ninjas met in the Carabao Cup finals. Uh -huh. And uh, just Newcastle felt like they were not to lose that game. Honestly, they were not to lose that game. But who is Manchester United? They lifted the trophy in front of the Newcastle fans. Now guess what? Mm -hmm. They'll be traveling with their bags all the way to Newcastle with their injuries. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Manchester, beware. This is a big game. This is a big game, guys. Uh, Newcastle will be away or home? Home. They'll be at home. Home. Guys, guys, guys. At... St. Mary's. Is it St. Mary's or St. Saint Saint, Saint Mary's. Uh -huh. So here, no, it's St. James, James Park, St. Mary's is Southampton. Mm -hmm. So um, here it's going to be difficult, it's going to be hard. Let me not lie to Manchester United fans. Uh, the Magpies will be back at it, wanting their revenge. And at the same same time, it's not even a matter of revenge. It's a matter of it's now, personal now. It's now personal and also it's a matter of contending for the top four position. Uh, currently, Man City, Manchester United are sitting at position three. Uh, Man City, uh, Newcastle are sitting at position 5. So they have a chance of if they win against this match against Manchester United, they will be level, level of points with Manchester United. But it means they will have actually toppled Manchester United because wow. of goal difference. You understand? So on the other side, Tottenham also will be playing on Monday. As they will be playing, in the event that they win, they will also topple Newcastle and go to position 3 which means Newcastle will go to position 4, which means we are looking at a possibility of Manchester United toppling to position 5. All these things are possible in Premier League. Because, Just some few points behind Liverpool. Yeah, they are. Exactly. Who, have been, who have been awkward this season? Then Put assume more. that Liverpool wins against Man City. Anyway, <laughs> let's stop yeah. assuming. So, um, I feel like Newcastle are coming into this game for revenge. Remember that Newcastle will be missing the services of Paul Myron because of the injuries that uh, he has. So that means that uh, Guimaraes, of course, is back. And uh, your main striker, Mr. Isaac. And John Linton has been away. He yeah. will be back. He will be back. Huh? Mm -hmm. So I feel like Newcastle uh, will be actually playing this match all their hearts out and wanting to prove a point. I feel like, uh, yes, they lost fairly against Manchester United in the finals, but now it's their time to rewrite their wrongs. On the flip side, Manchester United also, they have been a good team. They have been playing well. They have been doing everything right. The okay. chemistry of the team has actually blended well. So that means that Manchester United is a team which you don't want to actually mess around with them. They will be in this match to actually try and get all the points as much as they can. So, uh, as this match will be playing, I feel like uh, all gloves will be out for all players and all teams. Uh, now, the biggest, uh, the biggest assignment will be for the keepers, both Nick Pope and uh, De Gea. So, Nick Pope is back. Nick Pope sure. is officially back. So, so, guys, it's going to be a match full of <laughs> attacks. So uh, let me uh, let me just settle this here. I don't want even to talk about. So this is a match whereby I'm going to give a straight prediction of a two-two draw again. Two-two draw meaning it will be favorable to Manchester United because everything has gone against them going to this fix. So me, surprisingly, I'll go with that two-two draw. Yes, it will be the best you can get out of this game.